Honey, tobacco leaf, tonka bean, sandalwood, amber. When I heard the notes, I knew I had to have this one. Knew I had to have it. Now, it doesn't smell just like this, but to give you an idea, if you like fragrances, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Darren, man. Y'all know me on YouTube as the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I cover fashion on this channel. I'll cover fragrances as well. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, you find the right channel, man. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do so, make sure you hit that bell icon as well to get notified anytime I upload new content on this channel. So on today, guys, I'm going to be talking about a fragrance brand that uh, some of you are probably familiar with, but it still doesn't get, I would say, a lot of attention and a lot of conversation here on YouTube, but it is one, obviously, with me being a collector, I found out about it, started looking into the fragrances, got myself some samples and stuff like that, and it's a house that I really come to, come to enjoy, and the house is called Unique Luxury. Now, the fragrances from this house and this brand um, originates from, from Turkey. Uh, all of the fragrances from the house are extract the perform concentration. So when I tell you that these things perform, trust me, they all perform. So for you guys out there that love fragrances that are beast mode, this is probably a brand that you want to check into. Now, currently right now in my collection, I have seven fragrances from Unique A Luxury. Um, as I said, uh, I've never bought a fragrance directly from the Unique A Luxury website. All of my fragrances have come from either FragranceNet or either Beverly Hills Perfumery. None of these fragrances were sent to me, so um, I'm just talking about fragrances from the house that I love. I purchased every single last one of these fragrances and I'm still continuing to explore more fragrances from Unique A Luxury. So I really wanna highlight the top five, but I will mention the other two as well, kind of as honorable mentions. Uh, from my sampling, there are a few more that I think, in my opinion, out that may be full bottle worthy. There's one called uh, Izmir and Barrel. Both of those are pretty good. I can't remember which one I like more. I think it was Barrel. I'm not. I can't remember. So, but both of those are fragrances that I've fragrances that I've sampled as well that I enjoyed. There's a few that I did sample that that wasn't really to me full bottle worthy. Uh, but that's that's cool. I mean, you're not gonna like everything enough to buy a full bottle. But anyway. I'm gonna really highlight my top five, including uh, the one that I just got most recently, which is actually my favorite. So we'll get into that. So if you wanna hear about my top five fragrances from, well, seven, uh, fragrances from the house of Unique A Luxury, then you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Fragrance guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this fragrance. So again, we're talking about my favorite fragrances so far from the House of Unique A Luxury, and uh, we're gonna highlight the top five, but I will mention the other two. This first one, an honorable mention, is called Wood and Mood. Wood and Mood. Uh, these, this is what the bottle presentation looks like now when this fragrance, these fragrances were first released. They actually had a different bottle presentation. Uh, they changed them here recently, I think around 2019, maybe to a more, in my opinion, a more luxurious uh, bottle. I do like it has like a little jewel in the uh, cap on each fragrance. And all the bottles pretty much look the same, obviously, uh, from, this, from this brand. So there's no differentiation of the bottles. And I think they only come in on this one size, which is a 3.4 ounce. 100 ml bottle. Anyway, wood and mood. I picked this one up. Uh, this one was a blind buy. Uh, people were saying that it smells like oud wood. I can kind of get that slightly, but not really. This fragrance to me is all about oud woods and musk. You know, there is uh, agar wood in here. There's gaig wood, so really woody. Uh, never goes smoky, but again, you get the oud in here. Again, it's really, really musky as well there's some saffron in here a little bit of cloves and tea to uh, kind of uh, brighten it up a little bit um, but again it's really all about woods musk and oud so very unique fragrance uh, again honorable mention uh, for you guys out there that like uh, those really woody and oudy kind of fragrances you probably would enjoy this one 
But it comes in at an honorable mention. Again, this one's called Wood and Mood. All right, so the next fragrance that comes in as an honorable mention for me, this is a long-lasting aquatic kind of scent, and this one is called Ak Denise. This is called Ak Denise. Now, let me show you something really cool about the presentation on these fragrances. So, these fragrances are either gonna come in a red box or either a black box. So here's what the black box looks like. All right, and most of the time, the fragrances that come in a black box, they don't have any type of sleeve on them. And what I love about this is all the notes are listed on the back. So you don't have to wonder, you don't have to look far. The notes on these fragrances are on the back of the box. Now, some of them actually come with cool sleeves. I don't know if all the fragrances in the red boxes come with the sleeves. I know. I haven't seen any with the black box that come with the sleeve, but so far, the fragrances that I have received that have come in the red box have a sleeve, and so does this one. So this is the box for Octonese. Let me show you. So there's a sleeve here. So it gives you a real indicator, good indicator of what you're gonna smell. You see the, of course, the ocean, the boats. It's a very aquatic scent, but it has a very unique twist on it. So because the notes are here, that's read them, marine notes, lemon, grapefruit, lavender, uh, thyme, apple, pineapple, myrtle, white florals, patchouli, cedarwood, amber, leather, musk, and vanilla. So you see with that ambery, vanilla, um, musky kind of dry down, is a very unique scent. And while it starts off very aquatic, there's some, you know, kind of green undertones to it. And I think that comes from the patchouli and the myrtle uh, in the fragrance. And again, a little bit of unique... Kind of exotic spices that you don't really see as often in fragrances like the like thyme so it's a very very unique aquatic scent i talked about it when i actually um when i actually took this fragrance with me i've talked about it before on i think instagram but it's a very very unique aquatic fragrance and like i said it's, it's an extract apart form so all these fragrances last a long time so if you're looking for something that's a good spring summer fragrance that's going to give you lasting power this is one that i would highly suggest you look at my second honorable mention goes to ak denise all right guys now coming in in the fifth spot and i don't have the box handy right now but this fragrance uh definitely a unique scent and i'm, I'm going to talk to you guys about it but this one is called aphrodisiac touch aphrodisiac touch now when you hear that name you probably think you know aphrodisiac so it's probably kind of sexy, seductive, maybe even gourmand leaning. If you thought that, you would be right. But to Aphrodisiac Touch, I think it's so aptly named because this never goes to a fully, full-on sexy or full-on sweet gourmand scent. Now, there are some elements in here that would lend to that, like vanilla, amber, as well as sandalwood as it dries down. But the opening really balances this fragrance out because you get some florals in the opening, you get... Uh, Lily of the Valley, you get some lilac, you get rose as well. Uh, but you also get some orris in here as well as cinnamon. So again, it has some kind of gourmand, sexy touches that would make it uh, the name aphrodisiac appropriate. But again, you have those uh, florals in the opening as well that really balance the scent out. So it doesn't smell like a gourmand fragrance. Not really, maybe a little. So that's why it's so aptly named and that's why it's in the fifth spot. It's one that I think you guys will really enjoy uh, from the house. And again, this one is called Aphrodisiac Touch. All right, now coming in in the fourth spot here, uh, this fragrance uh, is a, actually reminds me a lot of another fragrance in my collection I'll talk about it in a minute. But this one is called Istanbul. This one is called Istanbul, guys. Look at the color of that juice, man. It's like an ambery, almost orange, ambery color. And I really, really enjoy this one. This is one that comes in the black box and the notes are here. So let's just read some of them. We have some cilantro, some lemon tea, grape neroli, uh, jasmine, pink pepper, geranium, woody, musk, vanilla, and toffee. So all those things combined. And this fragrance smells like another fragrance from uh, the house of by Killian, which is Love Don't Be Shy. This smells a lot like Love Don't Be Shy. <sighs> I would say about 90, 95% similar to Love Don't Be Shy. Um, so again, you guys heard the notes. If you look at the note breakdown for Love Don't Be Shy, they're totally different from this. So I don't know how we arrive at the same place, but 
just to make it short and sweet, this fragrance is going to remind you a lot of Love Don't Be Shy. I really love that scent DNA and I love this fragrance as well. That's why it's in the fourth spot for me. This one is called Istanbul. All right, guys, now coming in in the third spot, this fragrance as well, I will tell you when I'm gonna get into it in just a moment, but there's another fragrance that this one does closely resemble. It's hard not to mention that when you talk about uh, this one as well as Istanbul, but it's an amazing boozy fragrance, guys. And this comes in at the third spot. This is called Kutai. This is called Kutai. This is an amazing boozy fragrance, and yes, it does smell a lot like Baronda from the House of Nasamato. Very, very close, just like I said with Istanbul. This is probably about 90, 95% similar uh, to Baronda, but obviously, being an extract de parfum, this blows it out of the water in reference to performance. Now, Baronda's performed pretty good, but again, this is an extract de parfum, and this goes for days on your skin. So, on this one, you're gonna have notes, I highlight notes like whiskey. Nirvana, you have some tobacco on here, some amber, vanilla. Again, this is a boozy fragrance lover's dream. That's just some, there's some tobacco on here as well. So anytime you have whiskey, you have booze and tobacco, makes for a very, very sexy scent profile, a boozy scent profile, and that's what you get here. So if you smell Baronda, then you're gonna know, uh, get an idea of what this smells like because again, they smell very similar to one another. So the third spot on this list goes to this fragrance from the House of Unique A Luxury, and this is called Kuta. All right, guys, now coming in at the number two spot, this fragrance actually is an exclusive fragrance to uh, Beverly Hills Perfumery, which is a fragrance uh, shop in Beverly Hills. Uh, you guys probably have already heard about the owner, Alan. He's amazing to work with. Um, I've gotten uh, two of my fragrances on this list. As a matter of fact, my number one and number two <laughs> fragrances actually come from, I purchased from Beverly Hills Perfumery. Look, I love purchasing from the store because he gives you a very generous sample there. You get four samples um, with your purchase. So again, and they're very generous. He actually puts them in an itemizer where you can actually spray it. There's no dabbers there, so I like that. And that's actually how I found out about some of the other fragrances that I purchased here. Uh, recently because he has just about anything you can think of available for sample. But we'll talk about that more at another time. The number two fragrance was an exclusive fragrance that Unique A Luxury did in collaboration with the Beverly Hills Perfumery Store there in Beverly Hills, California. And this is an amazing fragrance. This one is called Beverly Hills Exclusive. Beverly Hills Exclusive Man. And if you like got those fragrances that have a gourmand touch to them you're gonna love this think about those fragrances that have kind of that apple cinnamon kind of vibe this is kind of sort of what this reminds me of now <clears throat> this is one as well that came with the sleeve and of course here it is it features uh, rodeo drive there in beverly hills uh there's a picture of it there on the front now let me just read out the notes really quickly so you have bergamot clary sage cardamom rose, honey, tobacco leaf, tonka bean, sandalwood, amber cream. When I heard the notes, I knew I had to have this one. I knew I had to have it. Now, it doesn't smell just like this, but to give you an idea, if you like fragrances like, um, uh, what's it called, Wajan. If you like fragrances like Wajan from Parfums de Marly, uh, One Million Purvey, this is gonna kinda put you in the mindset. Now, this is nowhere near as close to those fragrances as the previous aforementioned fragrances are to Baronda and uh, Love Don't Be Shy, but I would say about maybe 50, 60%. Just to give you an idea of what this smells like, this will kind of put you in the mindset of those kind of fragrances. So again, I haven't shown you guys the red boxes yet, so all of the ones that have the red box has the sleeve, but so let me take the sleeve off of this one so you can see this. I love the box. The red boxes are gorgeous. So let me show you what the boxes actually look like. And the boxes actually feature the notes as well on the back. The sleeve has it, but the boxes. I love this box. This is a, a beautiful presentation. You guys know I love red. Shout out to the noops. But yeah, love the boxes. So, uh, so far in my experience, any uh, other fragrances that have the red box have the sleeve on it. So anyway, 
If you like those kind of fragrances that kind of have that apple pie, apple cinnamon kind of vibe to it, you're gonna love my number two choice from the house. Again, this one is called Beverly Hills Exclusive. All right, guys, now coming in at the number one spot, this is the one I got in most recently, and I knew because I got a sample last time when I purchased uh, Bever the Beverly Hills Exclusive, I got a sample of this. I heard good things about it, and I knew that in order for me to do this video, I would have to have this first because it's in the number one spot. This fragrance is absolutely fantastic. So the number one spot from the house of Unique, Unique A Luxury goes to this one right here, and it's called Crush on me guys look at this presentation this one comes with the sleeve and if you look right here this is going to tell you a lot of what's going on in this box i don't know if you guys can see that but and it's almost embossed there is caramel in this fragrance in there this has a lot to do this fragrance i won't say all about caramel but there's a lot of caramel in this but the box is and presentation is, a, is beautiful it's an orange color very indicative of what's in the fragrance. Again, that caramel. Um, sexy gourmand fragrance is called Crush On Me for a reason. Let me quickly read the notes. You have lime, ginger, magnolia, saffron, rose, caramel, patchouli, musk, and ambergris. And uh, man, I'm telling you, this is an amazing fragrance. I'm gonna try to take this sleeve off and show you guys the, the bottle. Again, sleeve comes off. This is one that's in the red box. I'm sorry, it's upside down. It's in the red box here. And um, yeah, man, just so you guys know as well, full presentation, when you open these boxes, there is a like a card in here from Unique A Luxury. And they kind of give a rundown of all their fragrances on the back of that card, but it sits into securely in the box. And you take it out and here is Crush On Me. This is an amazing fragrance. Like I said, this is a gourmand and simply put, if you love caramel, you're gonna love this fragrance. I don't really have words for it. You guys know how I roll, man. I love gourmands. It's in the number one spot for a reason. It's a sexy gourmand scent. So check it out, guys. If you like gourmands, you'll probably love my number one. The number one spot goes to Crush On Me from the house of Unique A luxury but that's it guys that's my time i am going to come back later and do a full review on some of these fragrances especially my one and two um, i love to talk about things that i love so i'll definitely be doing a full review on those fragrances but as always i sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos you guys don't have to watch but you do and i sincerely appreciate that now don't forget to take a few moments to go ahead and like comment and subscribe and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.